Ever found yourself captivated by the high-octane world of paramedics and emergency responders? The emergency brings the adrenaline rush of emergency medical services to the small screen, immersing viewers in the action-packed lives of paramedics Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto. The series, which first hit television screens in the early 70s, quickly became a household favorite, blending drama with an authentic portrayal of the challenges faced by paramedics in the field. Have you ever wondered if there's a specific scene or moment from emergency that has left an enduring impact on you? Perhaps it's the pulse-pounding rescue missions or the camaraderie between the characters. Share your thoughts in the comments below. With an ensemble cast that includes Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Tye, each portraying their roles with remarkable depth, the series unfolds a tapestry of emergency scenarios, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. Out of the myriad roles played in the show, do you have a favorite character? Whether it's the charismatic Johnny or the level-headed Roy, the cast's performances contributed to the show's lasting legacy. The groundbreaking series that paved the way for medical dramas we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's shift our focus to some random facts that add layers to the narrative of emergency and its impact on both television and popular culture. Dive into the fascinating tidbits that make this series a landmark in the world of medical dramas. In Emergency, the paramedic team uses a Biophone 3D 502 radio to communicate with Rampart Hospital in the field. This portable radio phone plays a crucial role in the show, allowing the team to relay important medical information and coordinate emergency responses. The episode titled The Mouse features real Los Angeles County Fire Department firefighters during the structure fire scenes at an apartment complex in Pasadena, California. Notably, Fire Captain David Boucher of Engine 12, Fire Captain James Roberts of Engine 19, Firefighter Specialist RM Branch of Truck 82, and Firefighter Richard Zimmer of Engine 82 make appearances. Retired Fire Captain Dave Boucher, also the Lockoff historian, has contributed significantly to the department's history through various published books. Before the series began, Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Tye, key members of the emergency, cast were avid fans of Julie London. They listened to her music throughout their upbringing, with Mantooth maintaining a collection of London's compilations as of 2016. These behind-the-scenes details add layers to the iconic 1972 TV series, showcasing the real-world connections and technical elements that contributed to its success. During their time on Emergency, Randolph Mantooth became a strong advocate for real-life fire fighting paradisons programs. Post-series, Mantooth continued this advocacy, leaving a lasting impact on the field. His commitment to emergency services extended well beyond the show's conclusion. As an influential spokesperson, Mantooth contributed significantly to the recognition and development of these crucial programs. His dedication adds another layer to the legacy of emergency, showcasing the lasting impact it had on both the entertainment industry and real-world emergency services. In emergency, the authenticity extends beyond its compelling medical drama. The rings worn by Dixie McCall and Joe Early throughout the series were not mere props. They were the actual wedding rings of Julie London and Bobby Troop, adding a personal touch to the on-screen characters. These rings, laden with real-life significance, subtly enriched the portrayal of the characters' relationships. Moreover, the badges donned by the cast weren't replicas either. They were genuine Los Angeles County Fire Department badges handled and maintained by fire department personnel on a daily basis. This commitment to realism underscored the show's dedication to accurately depicting the world of emergency services. The badges were more than accessories, they were tangible links to the real-life heroes whose stories inspired the series. Intriguingly, Dixie McCall, RN, underwent a visual evolution during the show's run. For the initial five seasons, she sported a nurse's cap with either a dress or a uniform, symbolizing the traditional nursing attire. However, in the final season, a subtle yet significant shift occurred. The cap was discarded, and Dixie McCall embraced a modern, cap-less uniform, mirroring the evolving norms in the nursing profession. This transition reflected not just a change in appearance, but a nod to the shifting dynamics within the medical field. 
these nuanced details drawn from real-life connections and authentic elements contribute to the multifaceted appeal of emergency. Whether it's the symbolic wedding rings, the genuine badges, or the visual evolution of characters, each element adds layers to the show's legacy. Emergency wasn't just a TV series, it was a meticulous blend of fiction and reality that left an indelible mark on both the entertainment industry and the portrayal of emergency services. The impact of the 1972 TV series Emergency goes beyond the screen, leaving a lasting legacy that extends to real-life emergency services. Notably, the show played a pivotal role in promoting the widespread adoption of paramedic programs across North America. Its influence reached far and wide, shaping the way emergency medical services are delivered. As a testament to its cultural significance, nearly three decades after its debut, the Smithsonian Institution recognized the show by accepting its memorabilia into the National Museum of American History's Public Service section. This collection includes iconic items such as the firefighters' helmets, turnouts, biophone, and defibrillator, highlighting the tangible impact emergency had on shaping public perception of emergency services. Beyond the props and artifacts, the series also fostered a unique sense of family among its cast. In particular, Dixie McCall, portrayed by Julie London, played a maternal role not only on screen, but also off screen. Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Tye, key members of the cast, acknowledged London as a surrogate mother and mentor in separate interviews. Their sentiments reflect a genuine connection that mirrored the familial bonds portrayed in the show. This blend of real-world influence and personal connections underscores the show's significance in both the entertainment industry and the evolution of emergency services. Whether it's the push for paramedic programs or the genuine relationships among the cast, Emergency stands as a testament to the enduring impact of a TV series that transcended fiction to become a cultural touchstone. Julie London, initially the top choice for Dixie McCall, RN, faced a unique challenge before the filming of Emergency's pilot. She had a three-week singing commitment in Las Vegas with Bobby Troop. Despite this, London eventually became an integral part of the iconic TV series, portraying a character significantly younger than her actual age of 45 when the show began. The age contrast between London and Dixie adds an interesting layer to the character dynamics. While the premiere episode indicated Dixie's age to be around 30, London's portrayal brought a seasoned and mature quality to the role. This age incongruity highlights the casting choices and the creative decisions that shaped the character's on-screen persona. Moreover, the production intricacies of Emergency extend beyond the characters. Several episodes feature the iconic Leave It to Beaver house situated on the Universal Studios lot during the show's production. This house, a familiar sight for TV enthusiasts, not only became a recurring backdrop, but also had a lasting presence on the Universal Studio Tour tram, even after the show concluded. Behind the scenes, the series employed a resourceful approach to set design, often repurposing sets from other productions and incorporating elements from previous sets. This practical utilization of resources underscores the efficiency and creativity involved in bringing the fictional world of emergency to life. The selection of Julie London and the incorporation of well-known TV landmarks into the narrative contribute to the multifaceted appeal of emergency. The show's ability to seamlessly integrate real-world elements into its fictional universe remains a testament to its enduring impact on both the entertainment industry and the portrayal of emergency services. These behind-the-scenes details, drawn from reputable sources, shed light on the nuanced aspects that have become integral to the show's legacy, making emergency a cultural touchstone. As we bid adieu to our journey through the compelling world of the vintage TV series that captured hearts, let's take a moment to reflect. Emergency isn't just a show, it's a time capsule, a bridge connecting us across decades. Whether you stumbled upon it recently or have cherished it since its first broadcast, there's a unique story behind your connection. Maybe it's the courageous paramedics racing against time, the authentic portrayal of emergency services, or the camaraderie that transcends the screen. Whatever it is, emergency etches its mark on our memories. So, dear reader, what's your tale? Share your thoughts, your fondest memories, or the scenes that linger in your mind. Let's weave a tapestry of experiences that celebrates this timeless gem. In this shared appreciation, we find the beauty of nostalgia reminder that stories like emergency connect us through shared emotions and experiences. 
As we embark on this collective journey down memory lane, remember that your voice adds a unique note to the symphony of admirers. Thank you for joining us in this homage to a series that transcends time, leaving an indelible imprint on our hearts. Your time and interest are appreciated more than words can express. Until we rendezvous for another trip down memory lane, keep those anecdotes flowing. Embracing the echoes of the past,